be okay to go. Uh, happy with the win and, and happy with the way the, the players went about the, the game plan that we, we set out for them. Uh, I'll give credit to Taiwan. We thought they may have come out and, and really set up you know, a, a eight player defence, but they came out and actually tried to match us and tried to play. And that probably suited our style a little bit. But uh, getting two early goals really sort of relieved the pressure. And I was delighted the way the players saw out the 90 minutes. And in a tough big turnaround tournament like this one, where we've only one day recovery for the next game, how important is the next 24 hours now for the girls to, to bounce back? Critical. I mean, that's what our medical staff do a, an unbelievably good job. So the players will be straight back to the hotel, get fed, ice baths, and all that other recovery stuff. Getting the win tonight allows us to, you know, some flexibility going into the, the middle game against. Um, against Hong Kong, so we get a chance now to to rest some key players. We get a chance tonight to to bring off some key players to keep them fresh, and then uh, and hopefully now we can have slightly one eye towards the China game on Saturday. And so just finally, Hong Kong is of course the next uh, the next test in two days time. What's your what's your thought process behind that game? Well, I'm not sure. We've got the advantage now of actually seeing Hong Kong play against China um, in half an hour's time or so. so from there, we'll have a we'll have a game plan sort of in place, and it depends. It really depends how we how strong we see Hong Kong and how they play tactically. But uh, what we will be doing is making a, a significant number of changes to the starting eleven, and hopefully, as I say, hopefully putting out a team and a, and a game plan that's going to be good enough to beat Hong Kong at the same time having a you know a whole squad of players fresh for the Chinese game.